Um, it's brand new, the FICO index that's out. And uh, not all, not a lot of places, places are using it as of yet, but eventually they will. I uh, did a show about it, so go back and listen to the show. But a, a quick recap on the index. The index is uh, looking at how well you do in a pandemic, a natural disaster, whether it's a hurricane or whatever, or economic downturn. So that's what it looks at. It basically tries to predict how well does this particular person do in these kinds of situations. And I have not seen anything that gives the parameters around that. So what do you mean? So my index is good. And, and I'll tell you, the lower your index number, the better. Instead of like with your credit score, the higher, the better. The lower your index number, the better. So um, it doesn't tell you what the parameters are. Like what are they looking at? What constitutes somebody that's going to do well in their mind as um, far as paying their bills in a pandemic? Are essential workers going to be rated you know very good are they going to be rated really good because they kept working during this time and what if you're a person that wasn't able to work during this time because of your industry so is it based off of your career and your industry is it based off the fact that you actually made all your payments during the last economic economic downturn or uh you know natural disaster or if you were you know like if you're in california this is going on out there with the wildfires and whatnot what does that mean how are they quantifying this how are they picking up the people and saying yep this person is going to have a tough time making a payment during the pandemic so their index number is not going to be good right so it's not telling us what that's going to be so i don't know if it's by industry um we don't know if it's going to be by how well you paid and here's the thing that i want to warn you about and have you look at on your credit report will they go through your credit report and look and see uh comments on your credit report so i have not i've been fortunate and not been have to you know take any deferments or um or anything during this particular pandemic with covid19 but on a couple of my accounts there is there are comments that say something to the effect of affected by natural disaster now why in the world are you putting that on comments when I haven't missed the payment? I didn't call and ask you to, um, you know, defer anything or anything of that nature. But I wonder, I wonder, and it makes sense if I'm looking at it from, you know, whoever created the, the, the index, if I'm looking from their standpoint, uh, that's something that I would be uh, interested in if I was them. And that's somebody who I would decide, hmm. Their index number doesn't need to be that good because apparently they were affected by a natural disaster some way, some form, some fashion, right? So I want you to go to your credit reports. Um, you know, you can get them all once a week uh, at www.annualcreditreport.com. You can get Equifax. You can get Experian. You can get TransUnion once a week at all three of them at www.annualcreditreport.com. Go through your current accounts, look and see what the comments are and see if any of them say impacted by or affected by a natural disaster. And if you haven't been and you haven't missed any payments or anything of that nature, even if you did a forbearance or, or whatever it is you want to call it, even if you've done those things, then you want to get that off your credit report. I'm, I'm just foreshadowing what could go on and how it could impact you um, with the index portion of that. So you want to get that off your credit report. What are you going to do? You're going to file a dispute, right? You're going to file a dispute asking them to remove the comments. You can actually even maybe even call the company that the account is with and have them uh, and see what they say, if you will. See what they say about removing those comments um, from your credit report. If they refuse to or they don't know what you're talking about or what have you, then contact the credit bureaus and have them remove it from your credit report. Now, as we just discussed, how long is this going to take? Is it going to take 30 days? Is it going to take 45 days? Is it going to take 60 days? Who knows how long it's going to take? But that's something that you absolutely, you absolutely want to do because we're trying to um, make sure we protect ourselves. We protect ourselves in every which way, form, or fashion. And my job, if you will, is to help you do that. Not only help you increase your credit scores, I'm trying to help you 
uh, save money at the same time. I'm trying to make sure that your, your credit reports are accurate. So there's a lot of things that we're doing, and that's one of the things that I, I am concerned about at this point and trying to make sure that um, it doesn't impact any of us negatively. So um, you watch out for those things. Now do this for me. Do this for me before I get out of here. I want you to share the show share the show so i don't think i asked that enough but i do ask it share the show with your friends and family you guys do that share the show and you can still pick up my book pick up my book five pillars of credit five pillars of credit on amazon for 2.99 ebook you can read it on your lunch hour and you'll be well informed on what's going on with your credit report and credit scores all right so look before i get out of here you know how i gotta do kobe cameron and carter I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. I'm out.